But know this, America, our problems can be solved. Our challenges can be met. The path we offer may be harder, but it leads to a better place. And I'm asking you to choose that future. Well, last night we heard from President Obama as he accepted the renomination for his party and also gave his speech last night at concluding the Democratic National <coughs> Convention. Both conventions are done. Political analyst John Dady joins us this morning to see if anybody gained any ground uh, during this time and to kind of just kind of break it down for us. Let's take uh, last night first and work our way backwards. What about the president's speech? Okay. <laughs> How's that for an analysis? Right. Um, to use a baseball analogy, I think he hit a double, certainly didn't hit a home run. Uh, the night before, Bill Clinton was not only a home run, that was a grand slam. And unfortunately, people are going to compare those two speeches, I think, for the history books. Let's talk about the speech from last night, first of all. Um, what is the risk of continuing to run on the platform of hope and change at this point? Is it, is it a smart decision to keep doing that, or should maybe he change directions? No, he should change directions because it's not hope and change anymore. It was hope and change when he was promising because he wasn't in a position to do anything. Now he's presidential. He's been presidential for four years. What amazed me about the speech last night, totally amazed me, was no mention of the two biggest uh, whether or not you want to see him as accomplishments in his four years, and that's the health care, and that's the, uh, the, the bailouts and the, 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 all the money that went to local communities. Didn't mention either one of those at all. Astounding. When you're, when you're running for re-election, clearly there's only one strategy, and that's to run on your record. You know, now we're, we're talking about millions and millions of dollars are going to be spent here to influence what percentage of voters that haven't made up their mind yet? I don't know if the millions are going to be spent in California, yeah. but uh, <laughs> right. pr pretty blue out here. But um, it's ab absolutely, again, as I've said many times, that are undecided. And again, the ones that are going to be targeted are in the swing states. Out of 50 states, they really are only concentrating on 9 to 11. Wait till you see the travel plans over the next 60 days. They're you'll not going to be out here much? You'll see the same states. Only <laughs> they'll come out for what we call the California ATM machine. <laughs> I hear you. Uh, yeah, it did seem uh, like several points during the speech last night was targeted specifically to Ohio and Michigan. Oh, over and over and over. Even the cameras kept panning to the delegates from those states. I mean, and those really are, are the two key ones. About two or three, Virginia, maybe Pennsylvania, Florida, or right next to them, et cetera. But those are going to determine who's the next president of the United States. Well, so the next big thing that comes up then are the debates. These guys are going to go head to head, and the, I think maybe even more people are excited to see the vice presidential debates. <laughs> it's really true, absolutely. <laughs> because you know everybody's just wondering, you know, how how that's going to play. Because those guys are really turned loose to be a little more, uh, you know, free with their criticism feisty, and attack sure. a little more. Yeah. yeah. As we remember again, you remember some great quotes out of history. The, the famous one against Dan Quayle, it's, you know, JFK. And those are the those are the home run moments people are going to be looking for. Yeah, October 3rd is the first one that's for the presidential, and then the vice presidential is a couple of days after. We only have a few more seconds here, but I have to ask you about the night before Bill Clinton's speech, which um, I think no matter what side of the party aisle you fall on, it was an outstanding speech, which is typically what we hear from him. But did that do damage to President Obama by having such a fabulous speech? the night before him, essentially. I wouldn't use the word damage. Clearly, I would use the word overshadow, without a doubt. And it not only overshadowed him for this convention, I think it's going to overshadow him in the history books. When people write about this convention, they're going to say the speech was the Bill Clinton speech. Yeah. Did Bill Clinton kind of break the mold as well? Because it, prior to Bill Clinton, it seemed like presidents, when they stepped out of the White House, they stepped off the national stage. And they didn't comment on subsequent administrations and they didn't get involved they were above that they had done their duty to the country they knew it was a tough job they leave the next guy alone uh, Bill Clinton seems to be the first one in my memory that uh, has no problem with talking about whoever's in office at the time or whoever's running well actually I would I would say that he did do a very good job when he immediately left office that he wasn't critical of Bush 43 and you notice Bush 43 has been completely, completely quiet. off the stage and he's yeah. made public statements saying I will not do this and I don't think it's proper but you got to keep in mind this are unique circumstances in the sense that it's the first time in a, a former president has a wife who's secretary of state who has a wife who's probably a potential president presidential candidate, et cetera. So he has a very vested interest and things in Obama. Yeah. And the truth is, he is the star of the Democratic Party. The Obama campaign has used him very smart. Not only is he a policy advisor, because he really is that sharp politically, but for fundraising. Political analyst John Dady, and we always appreciate your expertise. Thank Good you so much for coming in. Good morning. to see you. We're back after this.